That breaking news coming from the city of Richmond, the release of a draft report on the water crisis that impacted hundreds of thousands of people here in Central Virginia in January. Thanks for joining us here at Midday on this Monday. I'm Cheryl Miller. In that report, investigators say the city's water treatment plant should have been equipped to handle the power outage that caused a chain reaction of technological failures and ultimately led to a water outage for the city and parts of Henrico and Hanover counties. Our Elizabeth Holmes has the highlights of that report. The engineering firm leading the investigation found three major things that led up to the Richmond water crisis. The first was a lack of maintenance upkeep, also a lack of emergency planning and a lack of communication. Let's start first with the lack of maintenance. The investigation found that there is no management plan that details how parts of the plant are maintained or which ones need replacement. Some projects slated for the early 2000s are just now starting and investigators said the long delays can cause the equipment to run until it simply fails. There's also a lack of information on preventative maintenance and if it's actually up to standard. Then there's the lack of emergency preparation. Investigators said there was no plan in place for emergency weather, despite Virginia being under a state of emergency during the outage. There was no clear plan on how to deal with the power outage. Standby equipment was not prepped. No extra staff were called in to be on standby. In fact, at the time of the initial power outage, there were no qualified staff on site who were trained on how to use a backup generator. The report says the lack of planning caused delays when minutes mattered. And then there's the lack of communication. Investigators say DPU leaders should have notified surrounding counties much sooner about the outage so that they could stop using the city's water. As other counties' reports have noted, they went hours without knowing the severity of the problem. DPU also failed to reach out to the Virginia Department of Health or the Office of Drinking Water about the issue. It is important to note the firm says the director at the time declined to be interviewed for the investigation. The city says it has updated its emergency response protocols and its staffing procedures. They also said that they have spent $5 million in investment for much needed upgrades and repairs. The city said it will continue taking the recommendations that are listed in the full report that's expected to be released to the public this spring. In Richmond, I'm Elizabeth Holmes, CBS 6 News.